What keeps you from becoming successful? Did you ever stop to think about that question? What does success mean to you? Success is different for each person. Each individual has a different idea of what success is. Many of us, maybe even myself, have been programmed to believe that success is money. And yes, that can be part of success, but there's much more to it than just money. There are many people who have a lot of money who are miserable. And there are many poor people who have no money and are miserable. So what's the difference? State of mind, consciousness. Are you grateful for what you have? Because it doesn't matter how much you have, if you're not grateful for it, you're not truly successful. Success, at least in my view, is fulfillment. It's contentment, it's happiness, it's joy. It's the feeling that everything is okay. When you don't have money, you think that if you just had money, you really probably wouldn't have any problems to speak of. But if you've ever had a little money, if you've ever had your bills paid, had some money put back in the bank, had a nice home, even if you were renting, you find out that that's not true. But so many people struggle from paycheck to paycheck, and I've been there myself, I've done that, that they don't realize that money is not the answer to all problems. It seems to be the answer to their immediate problems, and a lot of people have those immediate problems every month. But you have to ask yourself, how did you get there? I see on the uh, social media people saying, I make $150,000 a year and I can't make it. It costs a half a million dollars to buy a home. I can go buy a home right now for ten dollars or $20,000. It's not much, but you can live in it. People live far above their means. They've grown up with tanning salons, and I go to the tanning salon sometimes, so I'm not against that. Nail salons, massage parlors, I mean the ones where you get a real massage, not the other kind. And cell phones, I mean like iPhones, if you don't have the iPhone and you got an Android or something like that, it's like some people think they're low class or they're even ashamed. We have risen to such a high standard of living that people feel like they have to be there also. So they put themselves in debt. There's something I read in a book one time. It's a very popular book. It says the borrower is a slave to the lender. People put themselves in slavery. Myself, I've never had a new car in my life. I've had some pretty cool cars, but I've never had a new car. I've had two exotic sports cars, but they weren't brand new. Actually, you can get a pretty good deal on those, much less money than you think, if you buy them with some miles on them. And they're just, what I think is like, they're just broke in. So you can have what you want, what you really want. But sometimes people think what they want is what social media, what the news, what people tell them they want. And they've been doing this for hundreds of years, maybe thousands of years, but back in the 20s and around the turn of the century, they played up these extremely rich people as successful. And as I said, that is a form of success. But if you read the history of these people, seven or eight of them that I read about, out of all of them, only like two didn't kill themselves or destroy themselves or ruin their fortune or ended up miserable. Now, I like money as much as the next guy. There's nothing wrong with money. And there's nothing wrong with having a lot of money as long as money doesn't have you. But really, money is just a, a currency, an energy, a form of exchange. It's not the money, it's the things people think or that they do buy with money. And we are programmed from the time we're born 
that if we just get this or we get that, we're going to be happy. It's a constant barrage of commercials, media, social media, the news, everything playing up these people that have these things like they're more successful than you are. If you have a roof over your head, food in your refrigerator, a lot of people in the world don't have a refrigerator. They don't have a toilet. But here in the West, we live in such a, how would I say, a paradise. And people don't even realize it. If you're making $150,000 a year and you can't make it, it's not the money. You could have 250 or half a million and you still wouldn't make it. It's your spending. And why are you spending? Because you're trying to get something out of money and out of things that you're never going to get out of that. The people that have a lot of money, most of them that are actually truly successful and happy and fulfilled, realize money is just a tool. It's a form of exchange. It's not a means to an end. And that end people seek, most people seek, is happiness. You're never going to get it from money. Well, you may say to me, well, God, you know, I don't have good health insurance. I don't have this. I don't have that. Well, I've never had health insurance. Not one time I worked for a company for six months because I've always been self-employed. I had health insurance. The best health, and there's nothing wrong with health insurance. Don't get me wrong. The best health insurance you can get is to take care of the one body that you have that you're going to live in for the rest of your life. That is the best health insurance. And why do you think health insurance companies make billions of dollars? It's not because everybody uses it. It's because most people never use it. And as I said, I'm not against that if you can afford it. But if you're going to put yourself into debt and barely scrape by and be miserable, guess what? You're going to stress yourself out and you're going to need that health insurance. Think about that for a while. First, you need to decide what success is for you. For you, not what you've been told it is, what is it for you? If you're a teacher in school and that's what you really wanna do and you love that, you're successful. I'm dressed in my work clothes today. I'm going to do something I really love, which is my work every day. I love what I do, I enjoy it. At the end of the day, when I do my best at work, which I always do, I feel fulfilled, I feel happy. I feel a sense of contentment because I'm doing something that I really love. Now, if you're not doing something you love, find a way to love it. And you have that desire in you to do something probably other than what you're doing. Find a way to do that and make money from doing it. Don't work until you retire, thinking about retirement, looking forward to retirement. I had a friend that retired. Actually, I don't know if he retired or not, but he got sick and died at 52. He saved all this money up to retire, but this guy lived his life. He had a good life, he enjoyed it. So, But so many people just live for the weekend. Here's hump day. Thank God it's Friday. Every day can be the weekend. It's all in your state of mind. You are the one that makes or breaks your life. It's up to you to find true success. But first you must determine what that is for you. Find something you want to go do every day. I take a day off a week. I only do that because I think I probably need the rest. I work 60, 70 hours a week. Uh, I ask my kids, that's what they tell me. I don't consider myself as working. I actually wish they had another name for it because I don't consider it working. Are there things I do that I don't really like sometimes? Yeah, sometimes there is. But sometimes, usually, I get the most satisfaction out of that. Life can be great, but it's up to you to make it that way. And something else I find that really gets me through the difficult times because I do have them and I've had a lot of them in the past and I've learned from them. It's trusting in a higher power, trusting in God, whatever that means to you. Because there comes a time in your life, and I've spoken about this before, where you come to the end of yourself. Then what do you do? Some people eliminate themselves. But that is, that is, a, that is a permanent problem. Let me say, 
I got this one here. That is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. A simple phrase I seem to have forgotten. So, this too shall pass. But if you have something, someone, something greater than yourself to depend on, you can trust that whatever you're going through is happening for you, not to you. But it's your perception that will determine how you get through it and how you come out on the other side. And come out you will. As I heard someone say, you can either come out bitter or better. And the choice, as I said, is always yours. That's our free will. We have choice in how we view things. So that's it for today. I'm going to go do something I really enjoy. And I hope you can find out what that is in your life so you can live a truly fulfilled and inspired life. And you will inspire yourself and others. Thank you. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Take care. Have a great day.